Kurvula and today I'm going to introduce you to a book titled To Kill a Mockingbird which was written by Harper Lee. This book's title, To Kill a Mockingbird, itself is one of Lee's masterful symbolism, a symbol that adds so much depth and renaissance to the story. The title is taken from a saying when Atticus Finch says to his children on how to shoot, you can kill all the blue jays you want, but remember, it's a sin to kill a mockingbird. Whereas mockingbirds represent birds which are innocent and goodness. Blue jays represent creatures which cause mayhem and trouble. Using this distinction, Harper Lee allows us to perceive the characters and behaviors that come and go in the story. By using this metaphor, we are able to access the broader themes of equality, morality and the importance of empathy. Set in the racially segregated American South, of the 1930s, during the Great Depression, the novel explores the themes through the eyes of two siblings, Scout, Jem, and the father, Atticus. The novel is actually written in the form of Scout's childhood memoir as she explores the town. The book focuses on her lawyer father, Atticus Finch who defends the, the mockingbird of the town. Tom Robinson, an innocent black man, falsely accused of assaulting a white woman. His commitment to justice and equality, despite facing societal backlash, resonates amidst ongoing conversations about cultural hate and racism. The parallels between Tom Robinson's trial and contemporary incidents of injustice also highlight the persistent inequalities within the legal system. Even with a difference in generational and setting, the themes still run deep in our Indian society, where prejudices crush people in basis of race, heritage, culture and class where authorities elevate the distinction as normal or God-giving, turning a blind eye on human suffering because of it. The book also shows how authorities misuse their power and how marginalized communities suffer because of this. The book's emphasis on another pivotal character, Boo Radley, an innocent uh, man, an isolated man, whom the entire neighborhood is prejudiced against and believes to be repulsive and dangerous. His very existence in the story proves that people fear what they do not know or understand. The character in the book represents the importance of empathy and the dangers of hesse and prejudice. The book is an interesting read as it can captivate readers through its charming and witty narration. Harper Lee mixes childhood lightheartedness with the novel's weightier themes, creating a memorable read. Personally, this book holds a special place in my heart because it gives a candid and innocent observation of the world's brutalities through the view of children. It shows how the harsh realities of the world force childhood innocence to shed away, causing them to mature faster and causing their disillusionment with the world around them. The book also shows that those who stand for what is right are not always appreciated. In fact, they may be bullied or thought as odd because of their decision. The novel's seamless blend of humor and poignancy engage the readers emotionally. While its take on moral dilemma sets the readers for introspection. The novel symbolism also has a deep meaning which lets readers ponder and think. Harper Lee's To Kill a Mockingbird is a tale 
that embraces the themes that engages the themes of prejudice and authoritarian misuse. Through prowess and compelling character, it challenges readers to confront the complexities of compassion and morality, leaving an indelible impact on readers to come. Thank you.